So this is probably the first time you guys have known this about me. Just, man, I think we have a scene on the lot too. Um, but that's worth the discussion. Like I know like they'd say hell no on the 22 Tundra, the Sienna. But here it is. I'm not gonna snake you guys too long. I'm just gonna let you see. So the fourth vehicle we added to the garage is So I'm gonna put everything in context in this video. This is probably the first time you guys have known this about me, but like, I'm a big time Trekkie. Like, I'm a huge, huge fan of Star Trek. And mainly that is because, I'm just kinda of showing you why I'm gonna call this vehicle, why we call it, the name that we call it. Yeah, but the main reason why I'm a huge fan of Star Trek is because to me, Star Trek gives hope that humanity will one day evolve enough to a point where we can all get along, we can all work together, and we can all, you know, we can evolve that much that we can actually coexist with aliens from other planet and travel to other worlds and, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's what, you know, Star Trek does for me. It just gives me hope that, you know, mankind or humankind will one day evolve past the current tribal state that we're, we're still in. So because of that and that, that hope that Star Trek gives me, I've basically named all of our vehicles uh, Star Trek vehicles, <laughs> like Star Trek, you know, ship names. So we're going to start out first with this vehicle, our family vehicle. We call this the Starship Enterprise. So the CX-5 is the Starship Enterprise. And I'm sure you can tell why. When you look inside, it's very comfortable and relaxed and, you know, has navigation, has all the creature comforts, but it still gets us where we need to go quickly if need be, you know. I'll take out the car seats for now, but, you know, we have, like, car seats that normally go in there for the kids. And then, let's see, it's dirty now, but whatever. So, yeah, and we have all the cargo space. We got the you know stroller there and like everything we need for the kids in that box and and we have a spare tire subwoofer all the all the good stuff so that's the starship enterprise all right and now that brings us to the rest of the garage and i told you guys we added a new vehicle to the garage and we did but it it's probably not what a lot of you were expecting but here it is i'm not gonna snake you guys too long i'm just gonna let you see. So the fourth vehicle we added to the garage is <laughs> a mountain bike. Well, actually it's a, I don't know if you call it a mountain bike, but it's a fat tire bike from Mongoose. So it's a fat tire bike from Mongoose. And mainly I just got it because I realized that, you know, I need to start exercising and getting into shape. Like I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of what I used to look like before. And this is what I look like now. So yeah, I basically, I need to get into shape. Now, I, don't, I haven't figured out a name, what we're gonna call the bike yet, but I'll tell you this much. But actually, you know what? No, nah, yeah. I'll let you guys comment below what you think we should name the bike. But um, the Camaro, we call it the Defiant. And the Defiant was the vehicle that was used in Star, uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. That was Captain Sisko's uh, spaceship. And then we have this one, the SCI, we call it the Delta Flyer. And that, the Delta Flyer was like a small uh, ship that was used on Star Trek Voyager. That was like with Captain Janeway's uh, ship. And I think Tom Paris used to be the one that, that would pilot it the most, but the Delta Flyer is from that. So that's what the, you know, the Subaru is. 
and that's the the Camaro is the Defiant. So you guys come up with a name. Let me know what's a good name for the bike. Let me know if you guys are interested in fat tire bikes. I'll, I'll do like a whole review in it and everything if you guys are interested. But uh, I mean, it's not much to tell. I think it's a yeah, it's a seven speed. Let me bring it out into the light a little bit. And close the garage so you can get a better yeah so yeah you can see it's a mongoose I'm probably gonna change that seat so don't get too attached to that seat because I already rode it and it's not that comfortable so yeah actually it's still not really in the light let's let's get it into the light light all right Yes. So needless to say, this is my most cost effective vehicle. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I've, I've ridden it already and it's definitely a lot of fun to ride. Like I was able to ride it on grass, like no problem. And I've heard it's easy to ride on, um, on sand or if you're like cute to chaotic in them and you're up in, in like the Michigan area where there's a lot of snow, you could probably ride it on snow, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, fat tire bike it's i think it's a 26 inch even though like i really need a 29 but i felt like you know i fit in it pretty good so it's fine but yeah that's the new vehicle that we've added um i do plan on adding an actual vehicle vehicle you know later on but i don't know i think this is pretty seat like what do you guys think look you know got the nice wheels on there Look at that. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Got the two brakes. I think, let me see. So I think this one is the front. Yeah, that's the front. And this one is the rear. And you can change your speeds right there. So, yeah, man, it's comfortable. It's fun. And it'll probably help me lose weight. So that's why I did it. That's why I went out and I got a bike. And... I kind of also brought you guys into my world to let you know why we named the cars, the, the names that I gave them and stuff. And that's it for now. Um, I don't know. I think that you know, I'm pretty much going to end it on that unless you guys want to see me ride or something. But that's going to be boring. So I'm not going to do all that. But um, oh, let me see. I think we still got stuff on the bike there. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I, we do have a lot more coming. We we were supposed to go review a Mach 1, but we're going to pass on that this week. And yeah, so Mach 1 is something that we're looking at very closely. So we're probably going to go review a Mach 1 pretty soon. And you guys are going to see that on the channel. And we're waiting very patiently for the Mark 8 Golf R to come out. So when that comes out, like you'll be seeing that on there as well. And, you know, and all the other cars, we have the, the new uh, 2023 SDI, we got the new 2023 Civic Type R coming. Um, there's a lot of new cars coming that's fun. Ooh, and oh, so I saw a, what is it? The Corolla, the same Corolla that I used to have. I saw a black Corolla XSC the other day, but the guy had it lowered and it looked so mean. And it had me thinking, I'm like, man, what is that new, like, Corolla, that GR Corolla going to look like? If that GR Corolla comes out looking really good, like, <laughs> we might end up getting back another Corolla. But that's that's something to think of. Plus, we're potentially going to trade out the Enterprise for a bigger version of the Enterprise. Uh, we're looking for a minivan, so I'll let you guys in on that once we start, like you know going shopping for the minivan and whatnot let comment below let me know what you think a good minivan is you know so that's it for now hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you on the next one race car friends out we got the i got a camaro and an sdi and then the wife she has the cs5 and we're looking to get her out of that cs5 into a new sienna so yeah. do you think we, we'll be able to get a sienna at sticker that is more than unlikely as well. Um, it's just, man, I think we have a scene on the lot too. Um, but that's worth the discussion. Like, I know, like, they'd say hell no on the 22 Tundra. The CNS sticker just probably comes down to them wanting to hit their number. 
uh, tomorrow. So it is that type of, you know, uh, uh, that's the type of like question I would ask for sure.